Are you ready for a very simple, straightforward, short nugget on a particular EIGRP feature that's a nice to have that's been around for a long time? Well, if you're ready for that, you've arrived at the right place because we'd need to take a brief look at a very straightforward feature, does a lot for us, but yeah, quite simple for us to master. It's indeed EIGRP Graceful Shutdown. Let's get started and let's do it at none other than the command line complements of GNS3. So obviously Cisco, especially in today's world with a lot of voice and video sent over the IP network, Cisco is constantly rolling up its sleeves and working out ways in which to make EIGRP converge even faster. I know, I know, you're thinking to yourself, Anthony, EIGRP is the fastest converging protocol ever. How could they think about making it even faster? Well, they constantly are. And one of the things they did long ago with versions of iOS and now all their other operating systems is they said, look, we need to make it so that if an engineer reconfigures a device and EIGRP is going away, so that neighboring device or devices can really quickly converge around that missing device. Maybe it's just a missing interface, an interface that's being taken off the EIGRP topology, but we need to know quickly. You see, the idea here is if we, uh, I set up just a quick, simple neighborship between R1 and R2 here, two routers with their gigabit ethernet connection between them. If we go in and we do show IP EIGRP neighbor, remember what we have. We have a hold time. And this hold time, of course, is ticking away constantly. And this would dictate how long this neighborship peering remains a possibility when we start losing information from the neighbor. This is too slow. This is, uh, this is what Cisco is trying to avoid with a reconfiguration. They want the device to be able to quickly notify its neighbor and say, look, I'm out of here. So we have much faster convergence. Now, this behavior is indeed enabled by default. So, you know, this is definitely one of those topics that's probably more important from a written exam perspective, if you're interested in Cisco certifications, than it is a lab exam thing. But let's just make sure we understand exactly how it works, though. Watch this. I'm going to go in on this router and I'm going to say router EIGRP 100, no network quad zero. That indeed is going to take EIGRP off of the single interface that it's running on on this particular device. That should trigger the graceful shutdown behavior. Now, we don't really see evidence of it here. This is saying, look, the interface is no longer running EIGRP. The neighbor went away. Although it is interesting that that did occur so quickly over here. And we see why. Look at this. This particular neighbor said, I got a peer termination message received. Yeah, so this neighbor says, oh, wow. I was just told gracefully by my R1 neighbor that it is checking out. It is going out of Dodge as far as EIGRP goes. So that's the behavior that we're looking for. It was immediate. It's great. And notice, by the way, we're not debugging over here. This is a console message that you just normally see. So let me reverse that. And let me just impress upon you that notice this is triggered by our reconfiguration changes. It's triggered at an interface level by the manipulation of a network command. It's triggered on all of the interfaces on your router if you were to remove or suspend EIGRP. Okay, so then all interfaces that are EIGRP speaking would result. Notice this behavior is not what we get when we have like an interface shutdown. So if I go to the interface and I say shut, watch this on the neighboring device. This was the new adjacency because we brought it up, but watch, time's ticking away. 
Tick, 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 tick. I suddenly sound like a famous sports announcer whose name I can't remember right now. Anyways, tick, tick. Ah, look, now we finally get our failure. And why do we get our failure of the neighborship? Well, this time it's because of what we didn't want. It's a holding time expired. And you could see with the naked eye how much longer that took than the peer termination received. So we see that it is for our reconfiguration changes, our manipulations to configs, disabling EIGRP on an interface through a network command or removing the EIGRP process that would trigger this type of behavior. So a very brief nugget, as I promised you, on a very important convergence feature inside EIGRP. I sure hope this nugget was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.